Welcome to your second video on writing linear equations. Today we are going to focus on how to write the equation just given two ordered pairs or two points on the line. So given two points, the very first thing that you need to do is determine the slope. So in this box, I'd like you to write down the slope formula. m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So your two ordered pairs, the first thing you should do is just label them x1, y1 and x2, y2 and then use the slope formula to figure out the slope. Once you get the slope, that's going to tell you what kind of a line you're dealing with. So in this next part of the table here, if you get just simple positive number or a negative number, but it is just a regular old number, that's going to be a diagonal line. And I would say the majority of the problems will probably be a diagonal line. If you get zero, you are looking at a horizontal line. Hopefully you remember that from graphing. And if you get a slope that is undefined, meaning you have a zero in the denominator, you are going to get a vertical line. So we have three different sets of directions depending on which line you come up with. So we'll start with the diagonal line. Step one, if you have a diagonal line, is to start with something called point-slope form. We've mentioned this in earlier videos, but we haven't done a lot with it. So right here, you're going to actually write down what point-slope form is. It's y minus y1 equals m, and then parentheses, x minus x1. Now, just looking at the letters that we already have written down on this slide, the m should be obvious. That's going to be your slope, and you found that at the beginning of your problem. The x1, y1 is just going to come from the ordered pair. So you're just going to um, start with by writing that equation down. And we should see that on your paper for every problem that has a diagonal line. You should literally write this equation out. Step two is to make some substitutions. So you're going to plug your number that you got for slope in place of m. And then you're going to plug the numbers for x1 and y1 into that equation. Step three, once you have those plugged in, is to solve for y. And the reason we want to solve for y is to get back to the form that we are familiar with, which is slope-intercept form, or y equals mx plus b. And this will connect back to what we had done with the graphing, where you just had to find the slope and the y-intercept and plug it in. So that covers the diagonal line. What happens if you get a slope of 0? Well, then you have to go back to how to write the equation for a horizontal line. And that is the line where all the y values are the same. So it's simply y equals y1. And that is just your y coordinate, like we mentioned in the last video. And you'll have that because you have two points. Vertical lines, if you have an undefined slope, are just the opposite. It's x equals x1. And x1 is simply the x coordinate from either one of your ordered pairs you'll actually start to notice that those x coordinates are going to be the same. So that will be a clue that you have a vertical line. So let's go through a couple of examples. Our first example reads, write the equation for the line that passes through the two points, 3, negative 2, and negative 6, 1. Very first thing, this is non-negotiable. You need to label your points. So x1, y1, x2, y2. We need to start by finding the slope because this will tell us which type of line or which type of equation we're even going for. So we substitute in y2 minus y1. So 1 minus the negative 2 divided by negative 6 minus 3. Okay, so on the top, that double negative is going to cancel, so it's actually 1 plus 2, which is 3, divided by negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9. So if we simplify this, we end up with a negative 1 third. That is just a negative number. So if you think back to your charts or look above, that is a diagonal line. So what that means is that we need to start with the point slope form. So here's where you literally need to write down that equation. I want to see that on your paper. Once you have that down, you're going to start to make some substitutions. So you should be plugging in y1 for y1. And we labeled y1 as a negative 2. Now make sure you write that minus a negative 2. The minus is always there, and then whatever y1 is, you're going to take that sign along with that. Equals, our slope was a negative 1 third, 
And then we put in the x minus x1, which is just 3. Now we start to simplify our solve for y. But we actually, before we solve for the y, we have to do some simplifying. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fix up that double negative. So that should really say y plus 2. On the right-hand side, we're going to distribute the negative 1 third. So negative 1 third times x is negative 1 third x. And then be careful here because we have another double negative. Negative 1 third times negative 3 is positive 1. Okay, it's looking better. We got rid of the parentheses. We simplified our double negatives. We have one last thing to get y by itself, and that's to get rid of the plus 2. So we want to subtract 2 from each side. And notice where we lined up the minus 2. It has to be combined with the like terms. So on the left, we've got y. And on the right, we've got negative 1 third x. And then combine those, we have a negative 1. Okay, now you'll notice that is slope-intercept form. Just like all the equations that you worked on yesterday when you were given the graph. So we're still ending with the same result. We just started with some different characteristics. All right, example two. You'll notice again that you're given two points. So we're always going to start by figuring out what those coordinates are, labeling those coordinates, and then using that to find the slope. So start with your slope formula, m equals, and in this case it'll be negative 6 minus 7 divided by 3 minus 3. So in the numerator we have negative 13. In the denominator we have 0. Hopefully you know that that is undefined. We cannot divide by zero. So now you look at your chart above and you'll notice that undefined is a vertical line. And vertical lines all have the same form. It's x equals x1. So write that down. I want to see that general form. And then just look at your ordered pair and figure out what is x1. And x1 was 3. So your equation for your line is just x equals 3. Now just a little hint here. Some of you may start to catch on. If you look at your two x coordinates in this example, they match. And that tells you that all your x's are going to match. Because if you were to plot those two points and just connect them, you would see the vertical line. So just a little hint there for those that actually listen to the videos. So this concludes your video. And you are now ready to start practicing writing the equation for a line given two points.